Today I'm moving on and planning for February. Today we're going to take a look at my daily pages. Well, hi everyone, I'm Crystal from A Crystal Clear Life, where we focus on planning, organizing, and living a more simplified life. I do that a lot by using OneNote 365, or OneNote Desktop, as it's now being called. And I use OneNote Desktop because uh, it crosses all platforms. It can be used on my phone, my iPad, my laptop, you name it, uh, I can use it there. I store all of my things in OneDrive on the cloud, and so I have access to my planner at all times, which I think is the most wonderful thing, okay? Um, so today I'm going to be planning with you in OneNote, and uh, we've been doing the monthly plan with me, uh, which I will link up above where I create my dashboard page and get things set up for the month. I think I also set up my health and habit tracker in that particular uh, video as well. And then I've had so many requests to ask specifically about how I get my pages to look the way that I do. I decided that this month I'm going to break it down and I am going to go page by page and show you all how I really create those, you know, from a blank slate. So, uh, in the, previous video, I did my monthly dashboard page. I also did a video on my weekly setup. I will also link that one up above for you and in the description if you'd like to take a look at that. But today I want our focus to be on our daily page. So let's look at the daily page and see uh, what that looks like. All right. So as you can see here on my screen, uh, February is in full bloom, as it were, in full pink bloom uh, here on my page. And I wanted uh, to show you what the finished page looks like uh, so that you have an idea of the goal that we are working to. And what I wanted to tell you is I think that whenever you're setting up a page for yourself or a planner for yourself, the first thing it's important to do is to write down a list of things that you really wish were on that page for you. Um, I know when I stand in the stores and I look through different planners and stuff, I think to myself, now how would I use this if I had it for myself to use? Or where would I put you know, X, Y, Z, uh, you know, where would I put how many bottles of water I drink? Where would I put, uh, any calls that I need to make? Where would I put, you know, all the things that, you know, my food log, that kind of thing, where would I put those things that are important to me in a planner that might be pre-done? Well, over the years, I've discovered that that doesn't happen for me. There's not a planner out there that's designed specifically for me because um, I'm a unique individual. So I decided that I wanted to make my own planner and I wanted to make it in such a way that it changes <laughs> at my whim uh, from day to day, week to week, month to month, whatever I need. And that's something that I can do in OneNote. So right here on our February 1st page, let's take a look at these different elements. And I want to show you uh, how I put this page together and I want to show you my list of requirements. So here's the finished pretty page. Now let's look at our requirements. Okay. So you can see here that I have my daily page requirements or criteria. And the first thing that I have in red is to carry things over from my weekly plan. And that would be any daily appointments, birthdays, anniversaries, bills that might be due, goals or things that I'm working on for the week. Okay. Those are the, the predominantly important things that need to be on my uh, daily page. Now, let me show you where those things come into play on my finished page. So on the finished page, you see I set up here a uh, basically a two column table that is my daily schedule. And I have mine running from 8 a.m to 10 p.m. Now, one of the great things about digital planning is if your day starts earlier, maybe at seven, maybe at five, you can simply go in here and change these numbers to meet your needs. Maybe you're somebody who is a night owl and is up until one, two o'clock in the morning and you need your planner to reflect that time. Again, you can go in here and add that or you could actually go in here and make this a 24 hour 
uh, clock if you wanted to. Uh, and I think that that is pretty cool. Okay. All right. So this daily schedule would be where any of my appointments go, where I might list, you know, up here at the top that it's somebody's birthday or for having a spe special birthday dinner or lunch or something. I have a space to write that in here. Okay. I can also list on here any bills that might need to make sure that they are paid for that day, uh, any holidays, any of those kinds of things. All right. This great big number one that you see up here is simply a sticker. If I click on it, you see it has that little graphic uh, outline around it. It's a date uh, sticker from the sticker set that I bought from Doodlebug Draws. And I just thought it was a cute way to use those on my daily page. So that's what that is. Uh, all of the stickers that you see here are from two of the sticker sets that I bought. Uh, one is called uh, Love from Doodlebug Draws, and the other one is called Love is Sweet. And I will have those linked below in the uh, description box if you see something that you like and you want to check them out. They are both Etsy sellers. Um, I bought both of my sets of stickers, uh, so there's no paid promotions here. I just think they're cute and wanted to share them with you. Let's see. The next thing that I thought that was important to have on my daily page was some weather data, uh, some mood and energy trackers, uh, just so that I could kind of help myself get situated for what I wanted to do throughout the day. Uh, one of the ways that I choose my priorities for the day is I look at the weather and I think, okay, is this an inside working day, an outside working day? Um, you know, what's, how cold is it going to be or how hot is it going to be? What do I want to do? Um, how do I want to spend my time? And then I also check out my mood and my energy. And, you know, if I'm feeling happy and energetic, I'm probably going to get more done than if I'm not feeling so well, or if I'm angry or upset about something. So I like to have those things in there as well. Okay. Uh, let me show you what those, um, things are on the finished page. So on the finished page up here, you see there is a graphic. And again, if I click on it, you see that it is a graphic and it is simply sunrise and sunset. I like to kind of track that kind of thing. And you see next to it is another weather icon uh, graphic. If you'd like to know how I made those, I did an entire video in the beginning of the year uh, when I showed you how to set up this black and white notebook. And we did some great icons from uh, we made them in PowerPoint and then brought them into OneNote. So I will leave that video linked for you up above if you would like to check it out. I'm going to move my criteria up here next to my finished notebook so that you can see it side by side. So let's drag that, drag it up here so that we can refer to it as we're looking at our finished page today. Okay, so we have our weather icons up here and underneath of that, you see I have a text box where I can record what time the sun came up and what time it's going down. And then I also have another little text box here where I can record the high and low temperature for the day. All right. And I can simply take my draw tool and choose a color that I like. Let's say it is a sunny day and I can come in here and color in my sun if I would like to, to show that it's a sunny day. Okay. So I like being able to do that. All right. Below that, you see, I have, uh, the same kind of list that I put on my, uh, weekly page. And that is for what cleaning zone it is, what area I'm going to be working in, and then links to my cleaning list, links to links to my restocking list and that kind of thing. So links to important pages like my cleaning list, uh, my Google calendar, all those kinds of things are important. So I have my uh, cleaning list up here, but on the daily page, I decided to put my Google calendar list and my uh, Crystal Clear Life analytics links down here in the bottom corner. They simply are a text box. I could move them wherever I wanted. I could squeeze them in between finances and food, I could put them over here underneath the end of my calendar if I wanted to. I could really put them wherever I wanted because they are in this great text box. Okay. 
but I thought it was cute for this time to put them down here in this corner. All right. Moving on, we have daily to do's specific for the week or the routine. Now, this is something I created mm, long, long time ago. I think when I first retired from teaching uh, to kind of help keep myself on track. And this is really before I discovered Fly Lady or, you know, anybody else like that. And I kind of came up with a list of things that I like to do on Mondays, Tuesdays, Wednesdays, etc. Uh, being a teacher, I love alliteration and routine and that kind of thing. So, you know, things like watering the plants always happens on Wednesday because they both start with W and it's easy for me to remember, <laughs> you know, that kind of silly thing. I like to vacuum and clean the house and tidy the downstairs bathroom really, really well on Friday so that everything is set and ready for the weekend. If we have company or family drop by for the weekend, we're ready to go. Uh, and I don't have to spend my Saturdays and Sundays uh, doing chores around the house. I can spend time with family and friends. Okay. So I created these schedules for myself a long, long time ago, and they change, you know, as the seasons change. Um, but uh, I like to have them here. And what I usually do is I will just come down here for whatever day it is. For example, the page that I have up here for February 1st happens to be a Wednesday. And so I have Wednesdays listed here. So typically on Wednesday, I do my morning routine. I water my inside plants. I dust and vacuum the upper level of the house, which means the hallway and the bedrooms, that kind of thing. I uh, take a look at the west zone of my garden, which is the little area that's out by my air conditioner. Um, I look at my finances just to record any uh, things that have been spent that day. I will clean the upstairs bathroom. I figure while I'm up there vacuuming, I might as well clean the bathroom too, right? Uh, during the summertime, I will vacuum the pool on Wednesdays. Also check the, uh, the chlorine tablets and the chemicals in the pool. And Wednesday will also be a car clean out day because it is the day that I take the trash to the dump. So when I come home from the dump, you know, I take the tarp out of the back and fold it up and tidy up any, you know, any other thing in the car that needs to be taken care of. Okay. So I kind of have these routines of things that I do and it really helps me be productive and keeps me kind of on track. So nothing really ever blows up and gets out of control. All right. Again, this chart and all of these down here are just single columned uh, tables. So all I need to do when I go to copy them is I can just go in here and copy that, copy it, and then I can bring it I like to paste on the side so things don't get moved around. You know me, paste on the side, paste on the side. And then I can drag it up and put it wherever I want. In this case, I put it right there for Wednesday. Okay. So you see how that works. All right. Then I have, uh, a little spot up here for my top three, my top three priorities. That's what my little cat is looking at there. I think his top priorities might be this mouse and this mouse and this cute little mouse. Or if it's my uh, Hermione cat, her top priority would be licking the cream off of this cupcake. <laughs> Anyway, so I use stickers here for my top three. And then over top of those three stickers, you see I have a little table here that's just three columns. So I can go in there and type in whatever my top three might be. Let's say, because it's Wednesday, trash is a priority for me. And uh, I need to get the mail that day while I am out. And I also need to, um, you know, maybe call uh, the doctor's office. Okay. So that would be my top priorities. I can put those back here. They line up with my stickers pretty well. If I make my font bigger, they will line up with my stickers pretty well like so. And there you go. Now I have my top three listed. Okay. So a combination of stickers and a text box. All right. My mood and energy is a text box. And you also see that these icons are stickers. Again, I have the video where I made those icon stickers. I can move those wherever I would like as well. You know, if I wanted to put them over here, I could, if I needed to resize them, I could, uh, all of those kinds of things. I just kind of have them laid out in a way at the moment that makes sense to me. 
again, because when I set my priorities, I need to know what the weather is. I need to know what my focus should be. I need to know my energy level and how I'm feeling before I start planning out my day. Okay. If I wake up and I have a headache, I'm going to take care of things that are mundane, routine things that I don't have to think a lot about. And I'll save the filming and fun stuff for the afternoon. Okay. <laughs> All right. This box right here is a box for my uh, word of the day. And I simply drew this. Uh, so I go up to the draw menu, choose any color you want. I'm going to use, let's see, not yellow, something that kind of stands out for you to see. I will choose purple. You can choose whatever pen width you want down here. You have shapes listed and you can draw a box. So you click in one corner, you drag until you get the size box that you want. All right. So in this case, I made a box that's about that size because what I want to be able to do is put one big word in there. That's really the focus for what I did that day. Uh, let's say I was, you know, I went shopping. I might put the word shopping in there. Uh, today was a filming day and I was being creative. So I put the word creative in there. Yesterday was a sleepy uh, day because I had a headache. So I would have put, you know, napping or lazy or something like that in there for the big word. Okay. Now, if you want to, you can click on this box and go up to pen properties and change it to any, any other pen that you like. You know, you can make it thicker if you want all of those kinds of things. So you can change the look of it. I just happened to pick this nice dark color, uh, to kind of go along with my theme. Okay. Let's get rid of that. And those little dots back to our select tool and moving on. Projects and prayers for the day, again, is a one column table. Uh, and in my weekly video, I showed lots and lots of ways of making these one column tables. So I'll leave that link up above if you want to check out the weekly video. Okay. Underneath that, I have a quote. It's just a decorative thing. It's not important. Um, so I'm going to skip over that. For uh, my notes and musings, you see, I created another box, just like I did the one for my big word. And I just put a text box in there that says notes and musings. Again, the text box allows me to move it around wherever I would like. I could put it on this side if I want. It doesn't matter. Okay. All right. Um, let's see. I'm getting away from my criteria. So let's get back to that. Um, projects link. Uh, we talked about the projects already prayer list. We talked about that already food log. Okay. So I need to have a food log on my daily page down here in this corner. I have my food log and I have a place that I can write what I ate for breakfast, my snack, lunch, dinner, and then total kcals. If I want to record all of that, that would work fine. And my, uh, health tracker, uh, if you look up here at the top, you see, I have a place to record, uh, how many bottles of water I drank, how many steps I got, how many hours of sleep I got and how many fruits and vegetables I got. Okay. So there are a couple of different ways to do this. This happens to be another one of those icons like the weather that I did in uh, PowerPoint and then brought it into OneNote. So you see, if I click on it, you see, it gets the lines around it that shows it's a graphic. So again, I could move it around if I wanted to put it somewhere else on the page. You know, if I want to put it over here, that would work. I kind of wanted it over here in this corner because I wanted, you know, my, my health and my, my food and all of that, my finances, all that kind of listed over here in one spot. All right. Now, how would I record on this? Well, much like I did on the icons up here, I could go up here to one of my pens and I could choose, uh, let's say, let's pick this color and I simply could, um, choose whatever width I want, uh, um, smaller or larger. And then I could come over here and I could say, well, I slept, you know, I could put a dot in each one of those if I wanted, or I could come up here to my highlighter and I could, uh, choose a different one just to show you a little bit smaller. And I could say, all right, I got 7,000 steps this day. All right. Um, so in, in any of those ways works to be able to, uh, mark how many, uh, 
you know, hours and, and, and bottles of water and that kind of thing. So I think that's really cool. It allows me to use my Apple Pencil if I'm on my iPad, or I can also do it with my mouse here on my desktop. Okay. All right. So, um, my finance and my uh, money spent, there's just a little table here to write down things um, so that if I'm out and about, I can keep track of how much money I am spending. A couple of years ago, I did a no spend where I bought absolutely nothing uh, that wasn't an essential thing for myself. And, you know, that really became a habit after a year. And so I really don't buy a whole lot of extra things. I have um, everything that I need and I have the ability to make things, uh, you know, pillow covers and that kind of thing. So I don't really need, uh, you know, to be buying a lot of stuff. So I do kind of track uh, things that I spend uh, on my daily page. Okay. All right. My notes space. We talked about that already. And then down here at the bottom, I have a little uh, quadrant box, which really then is a two table column. Okay. So here's one side and the second column is over here. And in that two table column, I have a space for daily wins, a place for things that I'm grateful for for that day, a way that I did self care for that day and my biggest challenge of the day. I find that I learn more from the things that are challenging to me. For example, one thing that's challenging for me today is trying to get this video filmed and dealing with the cats that I own. Right now, one of my cats is laying next to me, snoring up a storm, and you could probably hear her. <laughs> and I'm sorry if you can, but at least she's all settled at the moment and nobody's running around and chewing on plants and playing and all kinds of things that cats do. Anyway, <laughs> I learned from my biggest challenges and so I like to record those. And not only do I like to write down the challenge, but I like to write down, you know, anything that I learned from that challenge. Okay. The rest of this page is really stickers. You know, this is a sticker up here for my title. My date stamp is a sticker. My goals are a sticker. Uh, this word of the day is a sticker, uh, hugs and kisses. Uh, the um, quote that I have here from Helen Keller, which let me read it to you. It says, the best and most beautiful things in this world cannot be seen or even heard, but must be felt with the heart. And I just think that's so beautiful. And so I have that there as inspiration for this particular day. More stickers over here, of course, the cupcakes and the washi tape of hearts. My theme for the month of February, if you can't tell, is love. And my word of the year this year is to grow. And so I am focusing in February about growing in love. Um, you know, growing in love with the people and the relationships that I have in my life. One of those relationships is with my YouTube viewers. And I just wanted to say thank you very much for all of you who spend time watching my videos and spend time commenting. It really, really means a great deal to me. And it really is very special when I open up, uh, you know, my YouTube analytics and I see that somebody has made a very kind comment about learning something new or me being helpful to them, uh, helping them solve a problem or something like that. So thank you for all of those uh, comments. I really appreciate it. And, you know, if you want to help out my channel, giving me a thumbs up, hitting that like button, uh, subscribing, all of those things are great ways to help my channel, um, and to help me, uh, continue to be able to provide information for you. If you'd like to get in touch with me, please leave a comment below. Uh, I do my best to answer every single comment. Uh, and, um, it's really great to get to know some of you. I really enjoy meeting people from all around the world. So that's really cool for me. Anyway, uh, I just wanted to share with you today, uh, my daily pages that I'm going to be using for February. They look a little different than the daily pages that I have used in the past. And again, that's one of the great things that I love about OneNote. Every month, every day can be different if I want it to be. Uh, so uh, I just think that's pretty cool. Again, I'll have those other videos listed about the icons and creating the tables and all of that listed up above and in the description box below in case you want to check those out. 
Leave me a comment if you have any questions and let me know what are some things that you must have on your daily pages. Uh, I'm sure there are things that I haven't thought about that would be neat to track or record or plan for on there. Uh, so I'm always curious to hear what you guys have in mind. Anyway, here's hoping that you can live a more simplified and organized life through better planning. I use OneNote. Until next time. Okay, bye.